Oh, thank you for watching this video. This tutorial video is brought to you by NewQBO.com. NewQBO.com. So in this tutorial video, uh, I'm going to talk about how to track donated inventory stock items by your business in QuickBooks. So it has to do with uh, you donated some inventory items, so how to handle that uh, in QuickBooks. Okay. So the focus is going to be, we're going to create a sales receipt, and it's going to be zero value sales receipt. And when you create sales receipt for inventory, a zero value, uh, it will basically record uh, cost of goods sold. Uh, that's your original cost of uh, buying uh, this inventory. So once you have the uh, uh, original cost for that item, uh, it'll go to cost of goods sold account, and then I'm going to write a journal entry from there, uh, reclassify to uh, contributions, charitable contribution expense account, okay, and I'm going to show you all the steps. So let's get started. So I'm going to go to QuickBooks Online here, okay, so first I'm going to go to create sales receipt in here, plus sign create sales receipt, all right, okay, I've already done one here, so this here, you go to choose your customer, so you, you just need to uh, find your customer, you know, in this case, I have Father Joe donation, that's the name of the uh, uh, company, and then, you know, if you want, you can uh, have uh, uh, email engineer, you can send email for this sales receipt, Okay, and the, the payment method is I have item donation in here. If you want, you can just uh, leave this blank. Uh, and I just want to create item donation as a payment method. Okay, if it, it most likely you won't have this in uh, on yours, so all you have to do is just uh, add new, add new, and uh, let's say uh, you know whatever you want here, I have item donation. Okay, and uh, deposit to. I'm using the bank clearing account. Uh, the reason being, I don't want to use uh, uh, active real uh, bank account, although this will just show zero, and you know bank register will show zero, and I don't want it. I don't want to show uh, zero uh, in my bank register, so I just created this uh, clearing account. Uh, that won't have any uh, real uh, banking transactions. Okay, so uh, in order to create this deposit too, you know, all you have to do is uh, create a new account, I'm going to copy this, okay, so I'm going to uh, duplicate that one, and I'm going to go to chart of accounts from here, and chart of accounts is right here, okay, so add new, right, and the category type is bank, okay, and detail type doesn't matter, you can check checking or whatever, and in here, just call it bank clearing account, right? And then save it. Okay, so uh, that's what I did in here. And then in here, you create, uh, you, 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 you enter your, uh, your product and service items, uh, uh, you know, items donating, inventory items. Uh, in this case, I just uh, I have a gadget too, and I'm uh, uh, donating two, quantity of two, and a red column. Uh, make this zero because uh, uh, you know there's no income on this one. You know it's basically uh, your cost. Okay, so zero and it, the the sales receipt is zero, and then save it. Don't save and close it. Just save it. The moment you save it, you will see uh, this more at the bottom in here. Before you save it, you won't see it here. Okay, click this more. And underneath you will see transaction journal. So this will tell you your uh, original cost, your cost uh, for this inventory uh, item. Click this one. Okay, as you can see here, your cost is hundred dollars for those two quantities, right? Hundred dollars is your cost. That's your uh, uh, donation value as well. So that's your, you know, hundred dollars you are donating. Uh, uh, you know, in this case, uh, item donation. Okay, so uh, so that's so. What I'm gonna do is, uh, uh, if you want to uh, attach this to your uh, 
journal entry. We want to print this and uh, uh, save it someplace. You know, you can, this should be like a PDF type file, you know, PDF, right? And save it on desktop or somewhere uh, in, in your computer. Then we're gonna attach, uh, attach to a journal entry. So same thing you can do, or, or you can just export to uh, Excel in here. Excel, you can attach that one too. Okay, and then I'll say you, you can do the same thing uh, for sales to see. So sales to see, you can just print and just save it someplace. And we want to attach both. We want to cast sales to see and journal entry. Uh, I mean the, uh, the journal, the cost cost for the uh, donation. Okay, and now uh, I'm going to go to journal entry now. So to, to go to journal entry, okay, so journal entry right here, plus sign, and journal entry is right here under other. Okay, I've done one here. This is the one I did. As you can see here, now your debit is char a charitable contribution, right? And if you don't have that in your charitable accounts, then you need to create a new one. So I already have done it. Normally you would just do this, new, and category type is expense, right? And charitable contributions right here. Okay, you can name uh, any way you want it, or just leave it as it is, and then save it. Right, okay. So if you type uh, uh, contribution, you will see it in here. So this is the one I created. Type is this, and detail type is this. Right, okay. I'm gonna go to uh, job entry. So what you want to do is uh, you want to rate class your cost of goods sold hundred dollars to your charitable contribution expense account. Okay, this is the one. See hundred dollars in here. Cost of goods sold debit. Now you want to credit, then uh, this, and then this becomes cost of goods sold, and PNL becomes zero, and then you move to reclass to your charitable contributions account in here. Okay, and name you can just select the name, the customer type, right? And location and class you may not have it. This one I'm using plus, but if you have it, you know you can uh, select location and class as well. Okay, and underneath, as you can see here. You can just attach, uh, you know, sales receipt and uh, uh, your donation amount from your um, journal, right? All you have to do is uh, just click attach, and then you know you can get it from here. So this is the one I did. Print right here, like this, right? Just added another one, and if you don't need it, just uncheck it. Uh, so that's it, and. Uh, so make sure to save it, save and close, right? Okay, save and close. And now if you go to uh, your PNL for that, that day only, I'm gonna show you, uh, it will, you'll see. Okay, so this is just the one day I'm gonna show you what happens. Uh, as you can see here, the charitable contribution as expense is in your PNL in here. So this is how you want to see, it, you know? If you have zero, you will see it uh, on the cost of goods sold. Uh, now you want to see it in here, charitable contribution as expense item. Uh, so that's that's what you need to do. Well, uh, you know, thanks for watching this video, and uh, uh, make sure to uh, visit our website, newtvo.com. Thank you again. Bye.